Okay guys, so I have something that I have been looking forward to for a really long time. Again, click click back here. It's just the lip running around. He's always interested in what I'm doing, but I saw, actually I saw the Potter Collector doing this and it was a little out of character for him, but um, if you guys haven't seen his channel and you're Potter fans, he is, he's essentially the bible of Harry Potter stuff so I will link to him below but I saw him doing this and I wanted it since and I finally talked John into doing it and getting it for me and I'm really excited but this is the Diamond Art Club Hogwarts Crest Diamond Art Kit oh my god look at how big it is it's big but um I've been wanting this for so long. I, the design is so cool. Yep. You know what, let me take the plastic off so you guys can see, and y'all are gonna see anyway, but I legitimately, this just came in this morning and I put on some makeup real quick so that I could film this for you guys because I just, I wanna get started on it now. And if I've timed it right, which I think I have, this video should be coming out on back to Hogwarts Day, September 1st, so, look at it, there's, there's the design, it's still shiny, there's what the design is going to be when it's done, um, this will be available from Diamond Art Club, uh, and I wanted it, I wanted it, so I hope this is something you guys are interested in, also I have, I ordered from, ordered from Amazon, I, I, I've done diamond art. I like diamond art. I hope you guys like diamond art because I will be doing diamond art on this channel. Um, I actually ordered another one with this one, but I've been so excited about this one for so long. I got this kit from Amazon. And it's got like everything inside of it. Now I know that they come with everything you need, but I'm an organizer. Look at that. Look at that. So it's got that. It also came with an extra one of those. Um, and I'm going to add some of my own stuff. I have extra trays, but it came with all of this. Like it came with two of the little ones. This one, a scraper. It came with um, that. I put sandwich bags in here. This though, it's so wonky. Like, I don't know that I'll use that. So, came with that. Came with some stickers to put on the lids so that I can label those, which is exciting. And then it came with most of the stuff inside this bag. I added something and I added the sandwich bag, but um, that's what I added. Uh, came with a bunch of extra wax, a pair of tweezers, I, those are super tiny, can you see that? Um, and then it came with some extra zippy bags and four dropper tools that all, all of them have the single side. But then there's one that's, I want to say that's a three. And then these are probably five-ish. There's two of that size. And then one really big one. And then I will be using though one that John bought me a while ago for doing diamond art. Um, he got me this ergonomic dropper and I do love it and the back of it right now I have a three you can tell it's been used uh, it's still got the wax in it I'll have to clear that out but um this is actually removable so if I can find the link to this one I will put it below I'm not an Amazon affiliate I just want you guys to have access to the stuff in case you want to use what I'm using but this to me it just feels so much better than, than these. And I don't know what's coming in the kit, but 
I like mine. So, we've got all of that. I'm about to open the kit. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so I've just opened it. I haven't even opened this yet, okay? And I'm already, like, in shock here. First of all, the tray that comes with it has got glitter in it. The dropper tool that it came with, it's just one of the cheap ones, but they did provide a bullet. Sit down. <laughs> they did provide a, uh, it's okay, um, a gripper thing, and then they had a multi-dropper in the back, and a big one, which is good because I know that this kit has a lot of large areas of black, of just straight black. And then the wax came in this adorable little heart-shaped container, and there's two pieces of it. So that's just freaking cute. I mean, it's the it's the details, okay? This is why this kit is like a seventy dollar kit because of details. And then it came with I don't even know what this is for. Is a magnet? I good question I don't know why it's in there I also don't oh wait I might know what this is because it's glittery too well, nope I still don't know what this is if anybody knows what this is yes please ignore the paint oh, I've always got some paint on me but if anybody knows what that is let me know I have no idea what that is I thought it might be uh, like stopper thing for this it is clearly the same plastic, but it doesn't really fit in there, so I don't know. I don't know. But then it also it came with some really pretty washi tape. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. I mean, I was gonna just use some that I had, but that's. Let me pull it out so you can see. Look at that. That's so pretty and that's so thoughtful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm in awe already. And you know what? Since we're since we're like this, I will open this like this for you guys because I have a feeling it's gonna be too big for even my camera above. Let's see. It's still recording, but yeah. Bag of diamonds. Alright, alright, all right, guys. Oh my gosh, look, look at this, look at this. Stickers for the cups. So I don't even have to handwrite all of the little tabs when I'm organizing them. They're stickers. Are you kidding me? That's. It's that stuff. And then also, they gave me this vinyl sticker. If I'm storing this somewhere, it says use it to organize your stashed kits, place it in your log book or anywhere you like. So that is a sticker. I'm just. And then, oh my gosh, it's so big. Let me show y'all my pajama pants that I'm, I'm wearing because I didn't bother to put on real pants. It does smell a little funny, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this in my hand, y'all. Oh my god, let's go. Let's get started. I'm so excited. Oh! One more thing, and then I'll stop talking, I promise. It also came with these, which, I mean, look at the point on those. And they're metal. These are some nicest tweezers I've ever seen. And I'm actually really excited to use these on my miniature kits because these will be amazing for that. Like, way to go, Diamond Art Club. Like, you've just bought some loyalty with all of this attention to detail. And then this wasn't a cheap kit, but I tell you what, I've got another one. It was, like, I needed like 10 more dollars or something to get free shipping. And so I looked on their, what they had clearance, and I got another one. So if you guys want to see this one, I got mermaid in a cup. 
because it was cute. So I'm curious to see if all of that's in this one too, because this one was all marked down to $20 and it's about the same size as this one. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be quiet now. Let's get to work.
So first of all, happy back to Hogwarts Day. I did it. Guys, it's legitimately, I don't know if you can actually see the clock here, but it's six o'clock in the morning, the day that this video is going out, and I just finished her. Um, now, diamond art is incredibly fun and relaxing unless you're on a deadline. And yes, this was a self-inflicted deadline. Uh, why? I wanted to have it out. I wanted to have it done for you guys. In case you couldn't tell by the minor change in hands, no, my arms are not that hairy. My fiance, John, wanted to help me out a little bit and took over for a little bit on one of the bottom sections here. But let me back up a little bit. How gorgeous is she? Oh my gosh. Now, I've not ever actually ordered a kit from Diamond Art Club. I have done Diamond Art, but not one from Diamond Art Club. And I can tell you that the quality of this versus really any of the other kits that I've done is unsurpassed. Not only did they have all of the extra that I showed you in the beginning of the video, which I filmed a month ago, by the way. Um, just the way that they stick on the quality of the actual diamonds themselves now there are a few of them that you know processing never perfect but i had plenty of leftovers which i'm going to do something a little crazy with which i will show you in just a moment um some of you might be happy about it some of you not but stick to the end if you want to see that but she's done I'm so happy. If you guys would like to see the framing process for this, I was a professional custom framer uh, as of a couple years ago. So I am going to do all of the framing for this myself. I have tips and tricks. And so um, as a professional framer and what we used to do, um, and I will do it for different price levels too because I really like after the amount of work that went into this guys, she deserves to be framed so anyway she's done i will give you guys some extra beauty shots of her up close and i will see you guys later there will not be a video monday but there will be a squishmallow saturday coming out on saturday of this weekend so i hope to see you then and i've got to go both edit this video and get my twin 11 year old daughters Ready for their first day at Hogwarts this morning. We get to catch a train in a few hours. So I will see you guys later. Bye, just remember, why not you? See you later, guys. Also, as an addendum, uh, I loved the case that I got from Amazon. If I can catch the link for that, I'll put it for you in the description below. By the way, none of this was gifted or sponsored or anything. I just really enjoy doing them and I really liked the case. So um, I will link that in the description below as well as this if I can find it. This one was bought a long time ago. So it's not there. I apologize. But If you have stayed this long, you're either going to be really mad at me or really 
happy. I don't know. This to me is the end of any good completed diamond art project. <laughs> and like I said, I know that it'll probably frustrate some of you to no end that I'm doing this. But honestly, this video is supposed to come out in about 10 minutes. I do have it edited, but I am at the point of delirium, I think. And this is the fun part. Yes, I combine all of these. Yes, I also have plans for them. I'm not just dumping them all into this glass jar for fun, although that is a lot of it, because <laughs> I think this is fun, and I like looking at the mix of colors at the end to see kind of what the main ones that were left over, because obviously the main color in this kit was black but i'm hoping that there's a lot of pink left over there was actually an entire bag of the black left over see there whole bag but i'm gonna leave that one intact so you don't have to worry about that one guys but just for my pleasure. <laughs> this is how many diamonds, by the way, were left over at the end of this kit. Could I leave them organized? And use them all pre-sorted for other projects yeah probably like I said I will be using them for another project but honestly I don't want to leave them in these jars for Lord knows how long until I do another project and what I use them for might not even be traditional diamond art you know I don't know what I'm using them for yet but I do a lot of crafts I do a lot of projects Ooh, that one's very staticky um, so they will get used. I don't know what for. But I just kind of like the idea of this. And if you've made it to this part of the video, tell me whether or not you liked it for one thing. <laughs> tell me whether it drove your OCD nuts or if it just made you a little bit happy. And also maybe comment the word mix <laughs> just to see who made it to the end of the video for me because this is unusual <laughs> to say the least. Feels so cool. Mix. That's a lot of leftover diamonds. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some sleep now. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.